This coffee table has been sitting in my workspace for years. Years. It's such a cool piece though. There are six drawers total, three on one side and three on the opposite side. And this is what it looked like just a few weeks ago. I did a terrible job of sanding the top a few years ago and then it just sat here collecting dust and it came with us when we moved from Minnesota to Idaho in 2020. But I am finally ready to give it a makeover, so let's get going. A drawer track had come loose, so I nailed that back into place. Then I removed the knobs with my handy dandy electric screwdriver. And of course I cleaned off all of the dust and scraped off the gunk and grime. I had to bust out the razor blade because it was so bad. Then when it was all cleaned off, I got it dirty again. I sanded the top with 220 grit sandpaper. Like I said earlier, I had done a terrible job of sanding it before and there were swirl marks all over it. And then after sitting for a few years, there were some marks that I wanted to get out of it as well. This top is a veneer, so I couldn't get all of the swirl marks back out without sanding too much. So I just did the best that I could and called it good. While I was at it, I sanded inside the drawers too. And I scuff sanded the rest of the table as well. Then I cleaned up all of the dust again. And I sprayed two coats of clear shellac over the entire thing. When the shellac was dry, I taped off the top. And then I loaded my paint sprayer with some black chalk paint. Country Chic Paint is some of my favorite chalk paint. It's thick, so I thinned it out with some water. And then I sprayed it onto the coffee table. It took two coats to get everything painted. And I also touched up the paint on the inside of the drawers with a paintbrush. All of that painting took about three hours with only about 20 minutes of it spent actually putting the paint in the sprayer and then painting. The rest was all dry time. I love spraying paint. It is just so much faster. While that last coat of paint dried, I added some water-based poly into the paint sprayer that still had a little bit of the black paint in it. After the chalk paint was completely dry, I sprayed the black tinted polyurethane onto it. and then I let that coat of poly dry. Then I felt the paint. It was pretty rough filling, so I very lightly sanded everything down with a fine grit foam pad, just to make it feel smooth. I 
I cleaned up all of the dust and then I sprayed three more coats of polyurethane. So one more all over and then two more with the drawers open. I don't know about you, but I was not a fan of how orange the wood was on top. And I honestly didn't really plan to leave it that way anyways. So I sanded the top a little bit because there were some smudges in the shellac. Somehow they got there. I don't know. And then I whitewashed the wood. This was probably the most difficult part for me. It was such a large space and then the wood grain was going different ways. I just tried to work really quickly with the whitewash and then I just ended up with two coats of whitewash and it honestly looked pretty terrible. So then after it was dry, I sanded it back down to where I was almost happy with it. And then I dry brushed a little bit more paint in a couple of spots. And when those were dry, I sanded them down ever so lightly, just so you couldn't see the brush marks. This top is not perfect by any means, but I'm loving the way that it just looks rustic and imperfect. Then I used a foam sponge and some pantyhose to top coat the top by hand. If you watched my recent video on how to paint black furniture, you saw this tip. And then I put the drawers back in and put some new knobs on. Before I share what this coffee table looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps get our videos out to more people. So thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. It means the world to me. All right, here's a refresher of what it looked like before. Well, kind of. And here's what it looks like now. What do you think? And why did I let this thing sit on the sidelines for so long? It wasn't hard at all. And I was able to embrace the bad sanding job on the top. You can only barely see the swirl marks here and there if you really look for it but it mostly just looks rustic. I probably spent about $75 for the coffee table and then around $65 in supplies and around $2,000 in tools. Anyway, I will be back next Friday with another new video.